Well, I can just do this this way. This is the add-on, and on the other side, that's the marina. There used to be a house here, and they tore it down. And over this way is, that's the bathhouse, laundry, office. in the area that uh, are in the water. And where that blue tarp is, that is a gas-powered fire pit. Awesome because there's no smoke and you can have a great time. We watched a beautiful sunset. And, you know, and then we hit with the water and everything. Oh, it was great. All sites are full of hookup. And the, the hookups themselves are uh, the same ones you'd find at uh, your typical marina. Uh, he wanted the high grade stuff that's going to last that looked nicer than just the old uh, gray boxes. So as we turn the corner here towards the road, some ice here. That is site number two. Site number two is special to us because we were here before the park even was open. Well, I shouldn't say that because there was a few people here, but it wasn't technically done yet. And uh, it was my birthday weekend. I come out, washing the RV, getting it ready, and I don't know if I went in to get a drink. I went into the, to the motorhome for whatever reason, and on our dining room table there was two pregnancy tests sitting on the table. And I kind of walked past them thinking they were like a joke or something. And I'm like, you know, okay. And I thought maybe she pulled them out of the garbage, whatever. And then she says, no, no, I'm pregnant. So I guess I was in shock. I walked out of the RV, finished washing it in the rain. And, but yeah, that was the day we found out uh, we were going to have Piper. And uh, that happened all, all here at uh, North Shore Campground, uh, just outside of New Baltimore, Michigan. So if you guys are ever looking for a park uh, close to Detroit and you want something that's nice, the park's not bad, but they're pretty much booked all the time. Um, but now that they own the marina, they're going to put some more sites over there, uh, so that will help a bit. Um, when they have the uh, bass tournament, uh, this park totally changes and ends up being all the pro bass fishing guys and stuff, and it's it's cool. Um, you know, I I wouldn't talk to them because I, I'm lucky if I can even put a worm on the on the hook proper. So. Anyway, I can put some more information on this park because it is an awesome park. All right, we are heading to Algonac and we're going to play, we're going to have some lunch, we're going to make a fun day. So let's go around these barrels because the park's closed and you're not allowed to come in here. But uh, I'm sure if Wally see me, he wouldn't, he wouldn't 